What is up guys? James here from the Light of Riga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing the weekly reading for the week of June 17th through June 23rd. I was just thinking about last week's reading and I don't usually say this but I can't believe how accurate and on point it was. I don't usually toot my own horn but toot toot. Uh, I had no idea it was the new moon coming up that week and then the, the whole reading was about new manifestations. It was crazy. Uh, so yeah, I'm tooting my own horn. Okay, sorry. I had to do that. Um, have you guys checked out the Breathe Deeply spread that came out for all zodiac signs uh, last week as well? So be sure to check those out on my YouTube page, of course. Where else? And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, today we're going to be using the crystal reading card, so it's going to be a little bit, bit of a different kind of a vibe in today's reading. We're going to kind of focus on what healing energies we, we need to uh, focus on for this week. So if you would, please give me a moment to center myself, uh, shuffle the cards, and get the cards out. I would appreciate it. Oh, they're popping out everywhere. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, be sure to check out my website if you haven't already, lightofriga.com, the place to book a reading with me and to uh, check out free daily readings on the homepage. So. Be sure to bookmark that. There's a link in the description if you haven't been there yet. All right, let's get into it. What we're going to do is look at these cards individually and then go back at the end and see what kind of message they have for us as a whole. And the first card we're going to look at is this left one. And we've got Diopside. Ooh, Mother Earth. Hold on, let me grab my di Diopside. That's a uh, chrome Diopside in the picture. This is just regular Diopside. Uh, but it's a very earthly grounding stone it helps you connect to to nature it helps you connect to mother earth and i think that's uh what this card is suggesting uh this week is going to be very important for you to in whatever way you do it connect to nature maybe you like to go on hikes maybe you like to go to the beach maybe you like to sit in your garden maybe you like to play with your animals whatever it is you do maybe you just like to meditate if you, maybe you live in a very dense city maybe you can just meditate and and feel the earth and commune with her ground yourself to her uh, it's gonna be very important to get that connection to mother earth this week because we need to stay grounded we need to make sure that we're still living in this 3d reality even though our minds and our spirits and our souls may be floating in the ether you know uh, so stay grounded this week whichever way you do it just just get in contact with nature uh, we all have different ways of course so um, you know, ride bikes outside, go on hikes, go on walks, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be anything major. Like I said, just sitting in your garden for a little while, just looking at the birds and the and the insects and the plants and the trees swaying in the breeze uh, is enough to just give you that sense of, of where you are in the world and uh, your purpose here even. And, you know, if you can... I highly suggest grounding, earthing, uh, taking off your shoes and just walking on the soil and just letting the earth's uh, electric frequency uh, enter you through your feet. It's a beautiful practice. You feel so much better afterwards. So if you haven't tried that before, I highly recommend it. It feels great. <laughs> All right. That is the first card. Let's check out the second card. Ooh, amethyst. Shall I go grab some amethyst? Here's just a little cluster, a little cluster of amethyst. Got them all nearby. <laughs> uh, and meditation. Oh, okay. So, so far, uh, I, I do feel as though um, 
getting into contact with the things that we can't necessarily see, hear, feel, or touch is seeming to be a theme this week. And so meditation, again, means something different for everybody. We all do different types of meditation. I mean, some people play sports and that allows them to clear their mind and, and kind of remove their ego thoughts. Uh, some people like to go on hikes, you know, alone in the woods. That's a great type of meditation. Some people like to dance. Uh, some people like to actually meditate and, you know, sit in a lotus position or lay down. I like to lay down when I do it. <laughs> so it looks like I'm sleeping, but I'm definitely not. Uh, and, you know, there's so many different ways. People do art as a form of meditation. Whatever it is that removes the ego mind from the forefront of your thoughts is going to benefit you greatly and i think that's another thing to focus on this week is is a meditation and and getting into contact with the earth getting in contact with the self with the soul with the the higher self the part of you that's connected to the ether the part of you that's connected to source the part of you that's eternal it never dies it is always there and it has information for you it has uh you know guidance it has protection it has all these things for you but you have to kind of be willing to to connect with it it's always willing to connect with you but you have to be con willing to connect with it and i think that's something that we can focus on this week is a stronger connection with our higher self with our soul whatever you want to call it the words aren't important uh with that light that is inside of you however you describe it it doesn't matter but uh through meditation through connection to the earth, you're going to develop that uh, relationship and it's going to benefit you in so many different ways. Like I said, it's going to bring clarity, it's going to bring information, it's going to bring guidance, it's going to bring protection, it's going to bring all these things to your life that are going to improve it in every facet. So however you meditate, uh, do some meditations this week. If you can double up and do meditation in nature, you are winning. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this last card. Oh, uh -huh. we've got Lapis Lazuli. I got one at the table. Here he is. He's a skull. I have uh, two of these left in my shop. If you want to check, if you want one of these for yourself, if you, if you like skulls and if you like Lapis Lazuli, um, check out my Etsy shop. Do I have a link in the description? I think there should be a link in the description. But anyway, Lapis Lazuli, past life. The thing I'm getting from this is is learning more about yourself, uh, not just where you come from, not just your past lives, but also who you are in the now and where you want to be in the future uh, in this lifetime. Uh, so if we're going to look at a focus for these meditations, we're going to look at the self and we're going to look at uh, who we are. And, you know, seeing these cards as a whole, I definitely get a very vivid image of what uh, the focus should be this week. But let me just talk a little bit about Lapis Lazuli before I, I say that. Lapis is a great third eye opener. It is going to help you to perceive the spirit realms, which is going to help you to perceive the self, the higher, your soul, your higher self, uh, because it exists in the higher realm. So it using lapis lazuli in meditation is one of the premier crystals if you place it on your third eye while you meditate again it helps to lay down when you do this that's partly the reason why i like to lay down is because i like to place crystals on my chakras uh, and it's very hard to do when you're sitting uh, but when you're laying down you can place a crystal on every single chakra and um if you place a lapis lazuli on the third eye, uh, and if you're if you're sensitive to crystal energy, I think you're gonna notice for a lot of you. Of course, crystals affect everyone differently, but you're gonna notice uh, an expanded awareness of of just everything, <laughs> just everything. Now, it's not gonna be instant. Okay, you have to work with the crystal. You have to develop a routine, and you have to develop a relationship with the crystal. Obviously, that's how crystals work. A lot of people pick up a crystal, look at it, and say, "This isn't working." <laughs> okay, this is a relationship. This is a bond that you have to strengthen and. Um, if you use lapis lazuli in meditation, uh, over time you will notice the expansion of your third eye. I'm not guaranteeing it, because again, everyone's different, but for me it has definitely worked. And now that we've seen all these cards here together, uh, here we're gonna put the little crystal friends on each of their, <laughs> on their respective cards. Are you gonna stay? Are you gonna, yes you are. All right, now that we've seen all these cards together, uh, the feeling that I'm getting here is that this week is going to be about strengthening connections, strengthening connections through the to the earth, to the physical realm, so that you're here on earth, you're grounded, you know what's going on, uh, 
connections to the higher self, to the soul, uh, which is going to, again, bring down a lot of information for you. And also connecting to the self that uh, is kind of on this physical plane. Um, who you are as an individual so there's gonna be a, this is gonna be a week of self-exploration I think it's gonna be a week of connecting our ourselves to the earth because when the the greater our connection to the earth um, the easier we can bring down this information from the spirit realm sometimes information gets lost in the translation sometimes it comes to us in the form of a feeling and by the time we wake up from the meditation it's kind of gone we've forgotten it but if we're well grounded we can retain that information we can recall that information and we can apply that information to our lives here on earth and that's what the the theme of this week is going to be about bringing information about you maybe about your past about your current and your about your present um, bringing that information down and grounding it into earth is going to help you to expand and grow and this week looks to be if you can do those things it looks to be like a very beneficial week for you you're going to clear up some negative energy possibly you're going to raise your vibration you're going to be happier you're going to be lighter you're going to be funner and it's going to be a great week because it's the feeling that i'm getting okay so that is the video my friends i hope you guys got something out of it uh if you did, please leave a like. It lets me know that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, go hit that subscribe button. It's on the page somewhere, <laughs> okay? And uh, that'll help you to stay up to date with all my videos. If you haven't seen the Breathe Deeply readings, go check those out. All right, so uh, looks like a great week, my friends. Do some meditations, whatever that means for you. I want to wish you love and light as you go through this week. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy taroting. Peace.